In this tutorial, we'll replicate the dramatic barrage of arrows effect in medieval battle scenes. I'll show you the basic setup in the particle system and how to change the emission sequence. But first, we need an arrow to shoot. Add a mesh cylinder, vertices 6, radius 0 0.004 meters, depth 0.75 meters, x location minus 0.375 meters, then rotate 90 in Y. From the Object menu, choose Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. It's important that the arrow origin is positioned at the front end of the arrow, as this functions in collision detection with the ground. Tab into Edit Mode and press A to select All. Then go to the Material Properties. Create a new material and name it Shaft. Give it a brown color then assign the material to the selected geometry. For the arrowhead, or projectile point if you're a persnickety archaeologist, create a cone with four vertices, radius 1, 0 0.015 meters, radius 2, 0, depth, 0 0.05 meters, and base fill type, triangle fan. Then move it 0 0.02 meters in X and rotate 90 in Y. In front view, Select the top and bottom vertices and scale them together near the shaft. Then select the middle vertex and move it back in X. Select all the cone vertices, add a material slot, and create a new material. Name the material Point and make it a silver-gray color. Then turn up the metallic and lower the roughness. Then assign the material. For the fetching, or guide feathers, Press Ctrl-R to add a loop cut to the shaft and slide it down near the back end. Then add another loop cut above that. Choose Edge Mode and select three edges equally spaced around the shaft. Press E, S, Shift X to extrude the edges away from the shaft. Then G, X to skew the edges backward. Select the three new faces, then add a new material slot and create a new material. Give it a color of your choice, name it Feathers, and assign it to the selected faces. Back in Object Mode, right-click and Shade Smooth, then in the Mesh Normal Properties, turn on Auto Smooth and set the angle to 61. Name the object Arrow. For the arrow emitter, create a grid 50 by 20. Change the dimensions to 50 meters in X and 20 meters in Y. Then Control A to apply scale. Name it Emitter Plane. In the Particle Properties, create a new emitter and name it Arrow Emitter. Set number to 1000, frame start to 1, frame end to 30 for about 1 second of emission, and lifetime to the end of your animation. In Emission Source, Choose Verts, Random Order. Under Velocity, set Normal to 0, then set Object Aligned Y to 20 and Z to 20 for a launch angle of 45 degrees. A 45 degree launch angle is typical to achieve maximum range. Randomize Velocity between 0.5 to 1. This will affect both launch speed and direction. Check Rotation On and set Orientation Axis to Velocity Hair. Check Dynamic On and leave Randomize at zero. Under Physics, choose Newtonian and under Deflection turn On, Die on Hit as the arrows hit the ground. Under Integration Time Step, enter 1 divided by your scene frames per second. In Render, set Render As to Object. Scale 1.0 and show emitter off. For the object instance, choose your arrow model and turn on object rotation and object scale. Under extra, turn on unborn and dead to display the particles before and after the simulation starts and ends. Under viewport display, display as rendered. Next, we need a collision ground plane for the arrows to land on. Create a plane and scale it up to encompass the range and extent of the arrows. Then move it away from the emitter plane. In the Physics Properties, enable Collision and name it Ground Plane. 
To view the simulation, first bake it in the particle cache. Then position your view, hit the spacebar, and duck for cover. You can control the sequence of the arrow's launch by turning off random order in the emission source properties. The arrows are then released according to the vertex order of the plane geometry. This can be changed in edit mode by activating developer extras in the interface preferences. Then, in the viewport overlays, enable developer indices. In vertex mode, each selected vertex index is displayed. To change the order, select all vertices and position the viewport perspective relative to the proximity to the points. Then choose Mesh, Sort Elements, View Z-Axis. The vertices will be reordered according to their distance from the viewport camera. To reverse the order, choose Mesh, Sort Elements, Reverse. Now the arrows are launched in a new ordered sequence. To randomize the release, use Mesh, Sort Elements, Randomize instead of the Particle Emission Random Order setting. This ensures a more even distribution of arrows on the plane.